This is Average Woodsman here, so I think I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I, I want to make this a, more of a regular thing on the channel. Uh, now that I'm back in Florida, I want to start doing a lot more fishing videos and fishing related videos, whether they be reviews on gear, lures, uh, uh, reels, rods, and I want to do some actual fishing videos. Um, I can't do that right this exact second because I'm still waiting on the stuff that I ordered, like my GoPro and all that kind of stuff, to get in the mail and everything's still taking forever because of the COVID thing. But uh, as of now, I'm going to do a couple of, re over the next week or so, I'm going to do some reviews on some, some gear and I'm going to roll in photographs and maybe some basic videos with it. None of the actual throwing and, and catching, but of what I caught with the lures and with the gear. Um, but uh, I want to start out with really quickly um, one of my favorite lures that I've been using for years and years for saltwater fishing inshore. That's what I mainly do. I don't have a large boat or anything like that, so I don't do any offshore. I just use a canoe or a fish, you know, from the shore, whether it be the beach, you know, surf fishing, or, or uh, off of sea walls and things like that, or around bridges. Review a review on is uh, the uh, Yozuri Crystal Minnow. It's one of my favorite ones. This is actually, this one is actually beat to hell. I don't know if you guys can see how beat up this thing is, but uh, I actually caught a, a huge 36 inch snook and a couple of nice redfish, one being 30 and a half inches on this exact Yozuri. Um, this is actually my favorite color and, and uh, it's not necessarily the best size. It, it really depends on what you're going for. If you're looking for bigger fish, this is this is a good size. It's a really good compromise size. This one is, uh, I believe, it is three and three eight eighth inch. They have a larger one that is, uh, I think, five and a quarter, and then they have the smaller one, which I have right here. Uh, this is an old old one that I've had for years and years, and it is beat. This one's actually retired now, but this one is uh, three and a quarter inches. This one is really good for fishing along the flats if you're um, looking for like trout and redfish. It's good for jack and even uh, Spanish mackerel. But uh, you guys are probably going to see that I don't change the treble hooks off of my hard baits. I, I, I do the top waters. I found that the top water you have to change them out. You just I, I just I just I just don't don't like them like the treble hooks on the top water but uh, on my on my uh, sub subsurface baits hard baits I like to have the treble hooks I like to keep them on there so the crystal minnow this is a uh, the one I have this is a brand new one I just got to replace to replace this one this beat up one but uh, I have it on my my uh, seven foot six medium heavy mojo inshore and this is just a a Daiwa Lexa 300 but um, this thing has a, a dive of about three feet and uh, it is a floating floating hard bait. Um, if you've never used the, the Yozuri Crystal Minnow, Minnow, I mean, you're really missing out. These are one of my favorite saltwater hard baits to use. They're literally one of the best hard baits for saltwater fishing. All of the Yozuris are really good. Their top waters are really good. They're smaller ones, like I have one of their smaller little jerk baits right here, little subsurface baits. And uh, this thing is pretty beat up too. I caught a bunch of trout and uh, we got into a school of of uh, ladyfish. And, and anyone who's caught a bunch of ladyfish knows how annoying they can be. But uh, Anyway, I just figured I'd do a little quick video. I'm gonna roll in some uh, some photographs and some video of uh, some of the the larger fish that I caught, the snook and redfish that I caught on this one, just to show you guys how good it really is, how well it works. These things are not cheap. Um, at my local Walmart, they have a lot of Yozuri plugs. I know that's not always the case. It's probably region specific. But uh, you can also find them at like Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's. Um, I have a West Marina that's really close to me. I don't know if you got. I don't know if that's a local a, a local place, but uh, the West Marina near me here in here in um, Pinellas County, they have uh, these. They have a lot of Yozuri's 
uh, top water and subsurface Yozuris. But I'm gonna roll in some videos, uh, a video and and some uh, pictures of some of the some of the large fish I caught on these, and um, I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm gonna do some more of these fishing fishing videos and, and reviews and things like that. Look at the size of that pepper.